All right, so I Hate New Jersey wants me to talk about couch surfing. And what do I think of it? I mean, people that couch surf, in my opinion, have connections, obviously. And they know a lot of people. So they're able to, like, bounce around people's houses and able to couch surf there. And they're able to get away with it. You either have to be very extroverted, you gotta be very charismatic and well liked to be like that, you know. And you have to have money, obviously. These people say that when you're couch surfing, you don't really hardly spend money. I think that's a lie. You do have money couch surfing. You may be frugal with it. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe they don't have as much money. Maybe they're just doing something smart. You know. I guess that is a good way of traveling, I guess. If you are on a budget, just couch surf. But you have to know somebody, though. It's That's the thing. If, if you're an introvert, you're a loner, or you have social anxiety, or whatever it is, it's going to be hard, harder for you to couch surf. I guess you could do it online. I think there's a way for you to fi find places where you can couch surf um, for like a day or so. But people rather know people because they can get a discount or they can do it for free. You know. It's harder than what you think it is. People think it's so easy when it really isn't, you know. So, um, I guess you just gotta pretend to be extroverted. You gotta be charismatic, even though you're not, to do something like that. Cause I don't know how else you can do it. So, I'll catch you guys on another one.